I'm Jeff Reeves. I am a space physicist here at Los Alamos National Laboratory. One of the projects that we're involved in here at Los Alamos is a NASA satellite mission studying the Van Allen radiation belt. Um, and it's really changed our, our whole view of the radiation belts. There are two radiation belts, an outer belt that's very dynamic and very large, and an inner belt that's small and pretty static. Understanding the radiation belts um, helps us ensure the national security mission by making sure that the satellites that we depend on are working the way that they should, are reliable, and will uh, continue to provide that information. But one of the things that the Van Allen probes has discovered is that at these really high energies, actually what we thought was that inner belt probably wasn't really inner belt radiation belt electrons. And we weren't able to make that distinction between the electrons and protons because it all just sort of appeared as a, a wash of particles. But a recent study that we've been involved in that was led by our colleagues at Aerospace Corporation was able to really, really carefully separate out the counts in our instrument that comes from protons and the counts that come from electrons. At first we thought, well, there's no electrons there at all. But then you look really, really carefully and you can see that all right, mostly it's protons, but there's just a very few electrons. And so I liken it to looking at a rainstorm and trying to find the few snowflakes that might be happening just as the temperature gets near freezing. And we were able to separate those out to see the snowflakes in spite of the rain. It does make a difference whether there's nothing there or whether there's just very faint signals. And if we can pull out those faint signals, then we can start to understand the physical processes that are affecting those rare electrons in the inner zone. If you can measure the snowflakes and figure out how those are behaving differently, I can start to understand what a snowstorm might look like even if I hadn't seen one before.